Don't you look? I feel wonderful. Your husband is a good doctor. Yes, he is. There are roses in your cheeks. <laughs> Dr. Givings, he strives to understand and analyze everything, which makes some of the more emotional parts uh, of his marriage a little difficult for him. This experience has really taught me um, a lot about the mindset of people in the Victorian age. You had a very strict set of rules about how to conduct yourself in polite society. It was a very different experience for me. Elizabeth, as a character, brings a very fundamental part of the play together as her race and her class interacts with that of the Daldries and the Giddens. The most interesting part of the process for me as an actor is the fact that I had to play a black woman from a completely different time period and a completely different generation. I mean, I had to put myself in the shoes of a woman from a completely different generation, which was really difficult for me at first. But as an actor, I had to come through with that. So the clothing of um, this play is much different than the clothing that we wear today. One of the, the biggest you know, differences is the amount of layers that um, the women wear. So as a costume designer, I have to, to make sure that I'm giving them enough time to practice in them. I think it's really important that the actors know what they're having to move in, as if they wear this all the time, because that's part of the story that we're telling our audience, that they've been sitting and moving in corsets their whole lives. What drew me to the story is, um, it is about many things all at the same time. And I think it tells a really important history that often goes untold about women's history and the medicalization of women's bodies. It tells a very difficult truth um, because it is about topics that we don't discuss in polite society. I think that we learn that telling an important truth requires that we take risks and that we take them together.